are going to be on sale because here's what you can do. When you check out and you mention Pro Talk Wrestling, they will give you $100 back on your purchase. You are basically getting a $100 deal. This goes effectively until March 20th, guys. That is AJsBelts.com. Premier Championships only. The World Title, the U.S. Title, and the MMA Championship. $100 if you mention Pro Talk Wrestling at checkout. So, thank you guys so much. I will talk to you in a bit. Great, and we are here talking about the Roadblock pre-show. It is not happening at all. So we are just going straight into the event. 7 o'clock Central Standard Time, guys. It is going to be a very interesting event, and it is indeed a roadblock going into WrestleMania because there could actually be some WrestleMania repercussions in this matchup, and I'll explain a little more right now. So we're going to go through the card and talk a little bit about <clears throat> what happens to going into the event. So, I'm going to kick things off with a new match that was just added. It's going to be Natalia versus Charlotte for the Divas Championship. I was very surprised to see that this match came up this morning, but at the same time, I'm actually okay with it. I mean, honestly, it's going to possibly showcase Natalia and Charlotte at their best, and it's going to be a great preview going into WrestleMania time. And also, I know that they're probably just doing that because of the simple fact that they really wanted to keep the whole 30-day complete compete clause in the deal, I believe. I don't know. I mean, it would have been interesting to see, you know, Charlotte versus Sasha Banks at this event. But I guess you could say that they really wanted to save that for WrestleMania time. So, can you get my predictions on that? I do believe that Charlotte is going to win via submission. And Natalia and Charlotte, I think they're, they're definitely going to really have set the bar for WrestleMania time. I'm looking forward to seeing how this matchup goes down. And I'm very interested to seeing how they really play this out going into WrestleMania. Maybe Natalia gets added into the mix. Maybe Paige gets added into the mix. Who knows? So, going from there to the WWE World Tag Team Champions, the New Day, will defend against Sheamus and King Barrett. Now, obviously, when they first started this whole League of Nations deal at Fastlane, it just did not really make sense to me. It's like, okay, these two guys are heels, and why are they putting them together? I guess maybe to build up the fact that, you know, they're trying to eliminate anybody else, and they're going to have more bigger possibilities going into WrestleMania. I'm not quite sure. But when they said League of Nations are going to challenge for the tag team titles, I was kind of like, uh... But then I heard it was King Barrett versus Sheamus. 
I'm a big fan of Barrett, and I think that him and Sheamus are actually a pretty formidable tag team. I just think it's going to work out perfectly for both of them. I think they're going to put on a really good matchup. Despite that, though, I do believe that the New Day are going to come out on top, where Big E will probably pin uh, King Barrett, Bad News Barrett, Wade Barrett, his Barrett Barrage, everything like that. Yeah. So, New Day's going to go over, and I think that it's just going to really just tear the envelope open and open the opportunity to have Enzo and Cass come onto the main roster. Speaking of which, they will actually be competing at this event too as they will face off against the Revival for the NXT Championships and I honestly do not see Enzo and Cass winning tonight. I see them losing to the Revival. Revival continues going on and they fight off against American Alpha at NXT TakeOver Dallas where they will lose the titles to American Alpha. Now with... <clears throat> With that, I do believe that they are going that Revival is going to win by shenanigans, but I think that it's still going to be a really good matchup worth watching. So, go from there to the matchup that a lot of people are going to be talking about, Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar. Why this matchup wasn't at WrestleMania, it just, uh, I, I, I don't know. But honestly, in my heart of hearts, I want to see Bray Wyatt go over. Despite the fact that there would be interference, I want to see Bray Wyatt go over. I want to see him finally get some momentum going into WrestleMania season, as well as going getting momentum throughout the year. Fortunately, though, I see Brock Lesnar beating Bray Wyatt consist, concisively, I think is the word, and pinning him 1-2-3 with an F5. But, as far as how many suplexes are going to get hit... I believe that at least seven are going to get hit on not just Bray Wyatt, but also members of the Wyatt family. All in total, seven suplexes, and Braun Strowman's going to get f 5 by Brock Lesnar. It just makes the most sense. And I do believe that the only other matchup, if I just take a quick little peek here, is the WWE World Heavyweight title matchup between... Um, <clears throat> Between, what was it again? Between uh, Triple H and Dean Ambrose. But I need to double check to make sure that there is not anything too major going on. Um, see, Roadblock is just one of those interesting events where it's just like, okay, this is the uh, plan, but okay. Um, okay, so it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like there is any other matches that are being added. So, <clears throat> we'll go with the main event matchup, which is indeed Dean Ambrose versus Triple H for the WWE World Heavyweight title. Would love to see Dean win that championship. However, I see Triple H winning via interference. I see either Brock Lesnar coming in and F5-ing Dean, or I see Roman Reigns spearing Dean and turning heel. I'm honestly hoping that it's the Roman Reigns deal because I think that he really could use this momentum, especially this heat, going into uh, WrestleMania, and possibly, you know, like I said, like I said in my prediction this past, uh, what was it, this past Thursday? Yeah, I said that Roman Reigns should turn on Dean, and they have a fatal four-way matchup set up in which you see, you know, Bray Wyatt. Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose challenge Triple H for the title. That is my predictions on that. But only time will tell. And only the only thing is that creative is just not that smart sometimes. So that is going to conclude this episode of the Roadblock Pre-Show here on Pro Talk Wrestling. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And be sure to listen in on, to, on Roadblock. And I will talk to you guys soon enough. So see you guys later. You're soft, you're sloppy. They calling me poppy. I'm rolling in bands, you're riding around, and I'll beat up your Hey, go. Pros want a cop, but they are just not. I'm up in the club, stacking the dubs, and stuck in a lot. I'm hot.
like sauce. You soft like balsa. You ain't heard of me? Well, you probably are. Ask about nice to me. So good to see. Bros wanna act hard? They need to take it easy. You soft. When I'm ready, no. you salt like spaghetti. I'm walking a walk, talking a talk, calling you soft. I'm a club on a sore. See me out on the floor, and you getting jelly the way all these girls be up in the roar. What's up, man? You need a slap of the chin. Being soft is a sin. But I'll be but a ball. Don't make me say it again. Nice to me, so good to see. Bros wanna act hard, they need to take it easy. Soft.